Good evening! It's Tuesday the 15th of February and I am live for my Bruna Blether. Um, I really, up until even now, I don't actually know what I'm meant to be doing. Um, I've got a new gadget. <laughs> Me and my gadgets, Enrique will tell you all about how I'm really good at spotting an advert on Facebook and then going, oh that looks good. So this was a, oh that looks good uh, kind of purchase. Anyway, um, yes, I'll try and, and show you what it's a stand, basically. It's a stand for uh, my mobile phone. And the idea of doing this is that it's um, I can actually uh, it, I can position it so that it's looking overhead at what I'm doing. Um, so I'm thinking about it for uh, demonstrations. That's that's what I'm thinking. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, so it can be, it's right in front of me. So it's actually a better height, although I think it's its probably a bit too high and I don't know quite how to adjust it yet. Anyway, so yeah, so on my phone tonight, how are you all doing? Um, It's just, I can't, what, what, how did we get through halfway through February? Like, how? Like, could you, somebody... If anybody can find the last six weeks, please let's put out a search party because I've no idea where they've gone. Um, anyway, it's uh, it's a bit of a rainy time of it up here. It's it's, it's a bit biblical, as um, very very deluge and hasn't really stopped raining very much at all. But it's not snow, so I'm happy, very happy. Anyway, oh, and I can actually read comments as well because I'm on my phone, which makes it help. So we've got we've got Don, hello, and we've got Mel, and we've got Tabitha, and um, but I can't scroll back to see who's well. If I do that, no, I know I don't. I, I, I'm not going to touch anything because <laughs> I'm, I'm going to like just disappear or explode or do something. So that's not going to help. Anyway, so uh, Sarah, hello. Yes, um, yeah, the time is flying by. It's it really is. It's speeding up at a huge great rate of knots. Sally Ann's here too. Hello, Sally Ann. It's been a while. How are you doing? <sighs> and Tabitha has joined it too. And I hope that your your cough is uh, better as well. So I'm just, it's just so much fun. Uh, I am having so much fun. Um, well, it's been three weeks since I last did one of these and I did one of the little embroidered sugar mice uh, demonstration. I'm still loving them and I haven't made one for a week and I'm like, I'm getting withdrawal symptoms. I'm kind of needing to go back and make lots of them. <sighs> but you know, the, the Valentine, Valentine's Day is kind of snuck up on me as well. It's like, and I have got a few extra little surprise Valentine creatures that will be appearing in my shop. They were supposed to be in my shop yesterday, of course, and they were meant to be in today, of course. And, of, and are they? No. So, but they will be, they will be, because actually, and it's a bit of a, um, th these are not just mice. There's one mouse and there's a mole and a, I've got to tell you, actually the mole's really, really cute, but what's even cuter is the bumble penguin. <laughs> <laughs> I've never made a penguin in a bumblebee suit before, but you know, it had to be done because what I found was um, last year for Squeak Show, Jacqueline, the lovely Jacqueline, a very, very talented uh, card and paper crafter, brilliant. She made all these little tiny cards uh, for the February scene, for the love scene. And I used the one with the rose on it. That was sort of the main theme, but she made me lots of other ones as well. So basically I came across them when I was tidying up after, you know, like the the madness of December. <laughs> so I was, I've kind of done a bit of tidying up in the middle and I came across the uh, four more little cards that she, because she sent me a selection because she's such a good spot. She really is. Don't know whether she'll be listening tonight. Might be swimming. Uh, but if you are, hi Jacqueline and thank you again. So yes, yeah, so she sent me these fantastic little mini cards and one of them was one with a little bumblebee on it and of course I had to have a wee creature dressed up as bumblebee because a bumblebee holding a card would be interesting but no, it needed to be, needed to have a, like a little dressed up uh, creature so it had to be a bumble penguin. <laughs> so in fact you get to see it first. Let me just reach over and let's see whether we, we can actually see it or not. So, right, Could, can you see that? <laughs> so the card says, oh, I'm not sure whether it might be a bit too light. It says, be mine on it. And there's a little, there's a little B. In fact, I don't even know where the, there we go. Oh, is that better? It's, it's back to front, but there's a little B on it. There's a little bumble penguin. <laughs> 
So it's a little penguin with a little bumblebee uh, costume on. Like, of course. And you know, what I am having so much fun with um, is just playing with whichever wee creature wants to show up at any given time. It's just so nice. Um, it's... I love, don't get me wrong, I love the squeak show, you will hear me talking ad nauseam about the squeak show and of course there's still all the scenes to be sold for the squeak show and I hope those who have got the calendar are enjoying the calendar um, and I am so enjoying being, I don't want to say liberated because it's just, you know, I, I didn't feel that I was trapped by squeak show but I'm now feeling so much more Oh, like oh, I can I can just make whoever wants to show up, and that's that's I'm just having a lot of fun with that. I really, really am. So yeah, Bumble Penguin, and there will be more little um, creatures dressed up in bumblebee costumes as well, because well, why not? And of course, we're coming up for Easter as well, and so many Easter ideas. So I'm sorry that the Valentine. Oh well, I'll show you the other ones then. Well, seeing as you asked nicely, just a second. Um, oh. Dear me. Sorry. And the little... Right. Okay, so these are the other cards. So this one is lovely, if you can see it. And sorry about the, the camera. There we go. Um, the light's reflecting off it. Anyway, it says, I love you more than cheese. And of course, I had to be a little mouse, you know. And the good thing about this is that you can actually still write on the mini card. <laughs> like, how cute. How cute. And of course, there are first guinea pig of the year oh no it's not actually i made i made the two guinea pigs for um ja uh, for pamela's golden wedding anniversary and she posted those gorgeous pictures of the arbor and the love it, it was just such a brilliant it was lovely so um this is my third guinea pig of the year basically so this is just, it's a beautiful plain heart sort of lift, gift no gift i don't know what i'm saying anyway it's a guinea pig with a card what more do you need to say and I haven't made moles for ages, so I had decided to make a mole, and I found one. Finally, I found a um, a glass cupcake from Paul. Now, Paul of Phoenix Glass, for those who don't know, <laughs> he and I have been working together for years and years and years, and I still find odd odd little bits and pieces of things that he's made for the wee creatures. So, I just decided I haven't ever made a cupcake mole, so now I have, and he's holding a little rose. And I was using a new technique for the rose as well. So I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm having so much fun exploring lots and lots of different ideas and new materials and just, I'm having fun. Can you tell? Can you tell? So actually, and one of the things, and thank you to Vicky for suggesting this as well. Now, there are two more little uh, Valentine sugar mice in, in my shop because I made two, yes, I made four yesterday. Made five, actually. Pfft, tell a lie. So I made a handful yesterday with a new clay. Now, those of you who know about polymer clay may well have come across this before. I've heard of it. It's been around apparently since 2014. So it's eight years now. It's been out and about. It's made by Sculpey and it's called Sculpey Souffle. Now, I, you know, it was actually one of Vicky's comments that, you know, she said when she saw the little red glitter uh, Valentine sugar mouse, she said, oh, it looks like velvet. And I was like... I think souffle. I think that's got a more of a suede-like finish. So um, it's, you know, it's, uh, so, I, so I got some, I got some of the clay and it came on Sunday or Monday, can't remember. Sunday came off, <laughs> does it matter? But anyway, um, and I decided, oh, Jacqueline's here. Hello, Jacqueline. Welcome. You, your ears must have been burning. I was, I was just introducing your beautiful little mini cards. Uh, with the with their wee creatures, so thank you again for them. Um, anyway, Sculpey Souffle, right? So this is what Sculpey Souffle looks like, right? So it's just a normal two ounce block of clay, but it feels weird. Okay, I don't know whether anybody has used it, but it's really it it feels very light, and it is lighter than normal clay. So the the um, the little Valentine sugar mice that I made uh, you know yesterday are a smidge bigger, just a little, tiny little bit bigger. It's still four grams of clay, but because of the volume and the, and the way I described it to Vicky is that they've risen like souffles, you know, so it's become a little bit bigger. 
Uh, that's that's my theory and I'm sticking to it. Vicky, you're here as yourself and not as Darren. This is good. Something's happened. Something is working well with Facebook land. Excellent stuff. Back to souffle. So this is how much clay is left because I've got a few packets of it. This is how much of the clay is actually left of it. And basically it's it feels it's very light and I don't know, it's it's very strokeable. <laughs> it's a bit sticky, but then it can stretch out. And and you know, I was thinking, well, how's this actually going to turn out? And I thought it might be a bit suede like, but it hasn't actually finished like that. But it's still got a really lovely matte finish to it. And it's really nice to work with. And I'm thinking it'll be lovely to use as a base for the embroidered sugar mice because it's got a real depth to the colour. It's got a really deep, deep, rich colour. And they've got lots of colours as well. So I've ordered one of each um, from Clay Around. Uh, that's one of the websites I use that I, I buy from. And uh, so apparently, though, Polyform, who makes Sculpey, are overwhelmed with orders or are very bad at getting orders out. <laughs> Not sure which one it is. But anyway, it's very hard to get hold of Sculpey these days, apparently. Just as well that I work with Fimo most of the time. Fimo Professional is my preferred clay of choice, it must be said. So anyway, um, so yeah, so I've been having fun. I've been trying out the um, the Fimo uh, Souffle. Sorry, it's not Fimo Souffle. Sorry, the Primo Souffle. Um, and yeah, it works so well with the sugar mice. It's really, it's fun. It's fun to use. And I do love trying out new clays when they come out. Um, there was the, do you remember the, all the ghosties I made? Jacqueline will remember these because I made a set of, of uh, you know, the, the um, they're really, really bright fluorescent. That's the word that I was struggling for there. So, yes, yeah, so there's, so Fimo have come out with this re really, you know, range of very bright fluorescent colours. They're fantastic. And yeah, they're going to look good as sugar mice as well. And I do want to try uh, guinea pigs in the sugar mouse style too, but I think the sugar mice really work with that sort of teardrop shape. It's just, there's just so much fun. And I must put a shout out here. I don't know, what, I, I doubt she'll be on the call, but Nola uh, from Australia, Perth, I think you're from, and she's just been posting the most fabulous Australian creatures from her from her local zoo or from a zoo down, down under anyway. And she's uh, the bilbies and gorgeous little bright blue birds. And um, I can't remember exactly what else. There were some meerkats as well, baby meerkats. But basically, I, you know, so I'm, I was actually thinking about make, you know, going to make a bilby tonight. But then I just wanted to chat to you because it's been such a while since I've chatted. So <laughs> you may well, well, maybe I can try. Maybe, but maybe not tonight, actually, right enough. But uh, with my new stand, which uh, hopefully will make it easier to do demonstrations rather than faffing about and going in and out of focus and all the rest of it, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it works. But um, it's just, it's just fun. Do you know, I I really do feel like I've been let off the leash. If that makes sense, it's um, yeah, it's. Oh, it's it's all the ideas which have been baking and cooking around and swing, swirling around, and just having the time just to go. I'm gonna make a bumble penguin today, you know, as you do. It's just you know, and and going with the inspiration rather than the to do list. You know, to do lists are great, but I would so much rather work to inspiration. So, in in some respects, you know, with with people who put in requests, if there's a if there's if there's a request which calls to me, I want to make it now and, and then have lots of fun and then it will just appear and it'll be effortless and it'll be smooth and it'll be like, wow, fantastic. If it becomes uh, like homework, um, then it's it's not as much fun all round. If that makes sense, I'm not sure whether it does or not, but I just I just know how much fun I am having and then the inspiration will strike and that's when it, that, that's, that's what it should always be like, really. Um, yeah, so moles, more moles, because I've and, and badgers. I was thinking about making a badger cupcake as well, or a cup uh, badger with a cupcake, I should say, because a badger cupcake, but a cupcake made of badger. Anyway, so <laughs> you know that's because I now have the fur canes because I made up the fur canes last year. I think did I do them during a Bruna Blether? Can't remember. Um, but that would be that's going to be lots of fun as well. So. And the, the colour combinations for the embroidered sugar mice, I mean, I have got some more, like a couple of uh, forget-me-not mice and some other 
um, you know, using that gorgeous translucent blue that I did for Lorna's um, the wedding bouquet mice. So I've got a, a few people have put their name down for one, and I will. I'm so looking forward to doing them. It's going to be just so much fun to see these bouquets. Well, to be part of somebody's special day, even if it's like you know years after the event or whatever, it's just a lovely way to mark it. A lovely small way. I've also got more of the glass domes on order too. So. I don't know when they're going to come through, but when they do, um, what I'll probably do as part of the wedding bouquet uh, mice, because they're going to be such a special day, I'll include one of the, the little glass domes with each of the mice made, because it is just a memento. Lorna, yes, thank you. I'm so glad that you like it. And thank you very much again for suggesting it. I probably would have got round to the idea eventually, and there's nothing better than having somebody that just plops an idea out there and it just sparks, takes hold and flies all over the place. It's wonderful. So I am so looking forward to doing more of them. I have only done one just now, so I'm kind of trusting that me and the mice will know what to do um, when the time is right. Vicky has just asked, am I going to make myself a wedding bouquet of, of my wedding bouquet? I wondered about that. I have thought about it. Um, I don't know whether you saw the photos of the, the, the wedding. It was a very small um, like registry office in Halifax. And um, I'm going to push my phone down a little bit, actually. I realise I'm just kind of, that's probably, that's a little bit better. I can slouch more, yay. <laughs> without looking as though I'm disappearing under the screen. Anyway, my wedding bouquet was, it was a um, like a wand almost. It was a very, it wasn't a bouquet that you hold in front of you. It was one that you sort of have over your arm, you know, like that. So I had lots of sort of spikes and long flower. It was, it was gorgeous. It was really lovely with oranges and reds. And actually it would probably look really, really nice just draped across the back of a, of a sugar mouse. So Good thinking, Vicky. <laughs> I should do another one just to sort of prove that I can do more than one and I'm not just a one trick pony. <laughs> it's, it's not a fear of mine, but there's part of me, it's like, well, I've done one, can I do it again? And then the whole gremlin mind comes in and kind of goes, Meh, no, you can't, no, you can't. Anyway, but I think after 12 and a half years, it's going to be coming up for 13 years um, in, in June since Quirin has started. It's, it's, un, it's unbelievable. Again, if you find the last 13 years, put a call out for it. Call the Missing Persons Bureau. I have no idea where they've gone, but it's just, I love that there are still so many ideas and so much fun and that I get to share it with you guys and I've got to meet you guys and it's lovely. Can I just see? It's really nice. Now, um, the one, what was I going to say? Oh yes, I haven't got a date yet for the next uh, auction for February's squeak show scene, which is the love, if you, if you, I don't know if you remember or not, those of you who, who, who have collected the set will of course remember the love. So it's like the, the letters which were painted by Tabitha, gorgeously painted by Tabitha. Uh, this was a, a triple collaboration. So, uh, so Tabitha painted the letters and Jacqueline made the little cards and I, I made the mice and wrapped them, wrapped up a single rose in paper for them. Anyway, that big scene, I'm going to do an auction on Facebook because, don't get me started on eBay, but I won't be using eBay again. It's not really geared up for just the occasional seller. It it, it must be said. That's that's all I'm going to say. But So I'd rather not use eBay and I'm going to give it a try. Dreaming Dragons, if you haven't come across her page yet, go have a look. Her work's gorgeous. It's really lovely. And she's given me a few pointers for doing an auction on Facebook. So I'm going to do it in the group. Uh, it'll be a 24 hour auction. You just, you know, you'll put in a bid and the, the highest bid by the time the auction closes will be the winner. It'll just be as simple as we possibly can make it. That would be really nice. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. And then I'll need to plan another trip up to see Jacqueline for the next batch of, um, of framed scenes. I know because I haven't shared with you. I haven't even, sh I haven't sh well, you have, you've seen have you seen February? Well, you've seen the photograph, the actual scene of February, but you haven't seen the framed scene, which is lovely. So I must get that sorted. And I must get a newsletter out. There's just, and we're halfway through January. No, we're not halfway through January. We're halfway through February. <laughs> That's even worse. So yes, there's, there's so much that, to do. And actually, I am just enjoying just being able to go, right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And oh, I feel like doing this just now. 
So I had planned, I was in on all weekend actually, um, and I was in on Sunday here at the, at the studio and all these little Valentine sugar mice just decided to come out in lots of different colours and I had so much fun mixing up the different colours, you know, using glitter white and the metallic, which is actually a really good way of blending the colours rather than using one of the, say, the glitter red with the glitter white. If you do that, then it's got bit, spots of red glitter and it. it just looks like it's got spots of muck in it. As I found out, as I actually have a big pile of, um, yeah, a big pile of dark pink clay, which looks, oh, anyway, it doesn't matter, but it was good. It was just good fun. And it was good fun just making these, you know, sugar mice. I mean, it took me all day, uh, but they, were, they just looked so good when they were all lined up together. It was, it was lovely. So, um, the whole point of that is it's lovely just being able to go with whoever wants to be made at any given time. And another wee auction, oh yes, so as well as an auction for the bigger frames, I'll probably do a raffle at some point and the display case is coming along. It's so exciting, it's looking fantastic. So there will be a raffle for anybody who hasn't been collecting the Squeak Show, um, but who has admired it from afar. There will be a chance to win a full set of all 12 mice in the display case and I'll be raising and donating all the raffle proceeds to charity for that. So that is coming up hopefully pretty soon. I've got a few bits and pieces to do for it as well. Um, and then Tabitha will take uh, requests for those who wish to do, uh, wish to have a display case for their squeak show mice. Um, and what else? I mean, what else? There's just, there's so much. There's so much. And it's, it's good fun. Do you know, I don't, I, I don't really stop smiling. I smile at, at work and I, I smile at everybody that I, I meet and often they just kind of look at me as though I'm kind of weird, but I don't care. I still smile at them and say hello to everybody because life is really, really excellent, actually. It's, if you choose to, if, if you decide it's excellent, then that's how it is, which is lovely. So was there anything else I was going to speak to you about? Is there anything I've missed? <laughs> Is there anything that you wanted, that I was meant to speak about and I didn't, I hadn't obviously, I didn't have any plans, wasn't sure what was going on. So um, any questions, any thoughts, any ideas, anything that I've missed that I'm going to talk about. I'm probably going to put these we, you know, like the mole and, and the, the, the card creatures, I will put them in my shop. Um, what time is it now? It's coming up 25 past eight. Might do it quickly before I go home for the night. Um, and and then, you know, they will find their humans, whoever their humans are. The other thing, um, actually, it's really sweet. You'll remember Zeus, of course. Well, uh, it came up in my memory eight years ago. I, I You know, I, he found me. He adopted me eight years ago, which is unbelievable how, how time has flown. And, uh, and I'd shared my memory from a month, you know, from today, and I'd had him for a month and I gave a list of, you know, how many miles we'd walked, how many times he'd woken himself up with his own farts. And <laughs> he was just such a character. So, yeah, he's he's here. I know he's never been in this this studio, but I still feel him, you know, snoring <laughs> under, out of the way, having a gulp and looking forward to a walk. It's, it's lovely to, to still feel him in the studio, in the space anyway. Right. Well, um, I, I don't think there is anything else for me to say other than I hope that you are all well and thank you all for, you know, posting so many fab pictures um, in the group and for playing so much and for just loving and being addicted to the sugar mice as much as I am. They're just so much fun. And I must make some more um, like butterflies and some more caterpillars. I've got lots of little mini uh, magnets. I got some tiny little magnets because I just love the idea of seeing a little caterpillar climbing up the side of your fridge. So that's on the, that's on the plan. I mean, ah, there's so many, so many ideas. So it's going to be a good year. It's uh, every year is a good year. It's, I'm very fortunate that the wee creatures are still happy for me to be making them and uh, for, for sending them out into the world. So thank you to everybody who has adopted a wee Valentine sugar mouse. They will be going off in the post. That was yesterday. The, um, the sugar mouse event was, well, it wasn't really an event, but they were in my shop yesterday. I'll be sending them all off first thing in the morning. I've been processing the orders today. Uh, and, and also making a few little card mice and a, pum a bumble penguin. <laughs> I'm going to make more bumble penguins. They're just ridiculously cute. It's quite, it's good actually, because 
with the the creatures that are standing well like they're kind of sitting on their haunches so like guinea pigs and bunnies and foxes and and penguins most of them actually otters as well they work really well by giving them a bumblebee uh, pullover <laughs> With it. So it's like a it's like a little mini uh, a mini sleep suit sort of thing. Um, the mice they have their bumblebee suits right the way down to their legs, down to their paws. Don't know how why it works that way, but that's just the way it works. Um, but actually, it could work with them too. I need to think. I need to try this then because um, that will make them a little bit easier, a little bit quicker to make as well. So I can make more of them. Because, you know, who doesn't want a mouse or a bunny or a penguin or a guinea pig or whatever? Who doesn't want one of those dressed up as a bumblebee? It's just, yeah, very cute. So, and I must try different kinds of creatures and see who else, you know, which other kind of creatures I can get them sort of dressed up as. Um, I'm sure I've dressed up a few as bunnies before. Dressing up mice as bunnies is a little bit problematic because of the double ear thing. You know, there's a bit of an ear conflict. Um... But penguins are good, guinea pigs, uh, otters, particularly otters. <laughs> Can you imagine an otter as a bumblebee and an otter as a bunny? <sighs> yeah, so I'm kind of looking forward to this year very much. And so the next, the next Bruin de Bled, I'm doing them every three weeks now. So the next one, I will definitely be doing a demonstration. I will have by then figured out my newfangled display stand. Uh, maybe post a picture of it because it's actually quite solid. It seems to be okay. Um, I'll just do a few test runs and see whether, because the good thing about it, um, un unlike some of the other stands I've had, this one will actually tilt flat like that. Oh, changed the, the lighting there. Um, so I can actually have my phone under directly overhead where I'm working. Uh, and that will hopefully be an easier way of seeing rather than always seeing me from the side. I'm hoping that the direct overhead view will actually be easier to follow. So anyway, um, I think yeah, we're just coming up to half past eight. So thank you all for uh, for joining me. And it's always lovely to know that you're there. And to, I know that we chat through the day one and one and all the rest of it. But it's lovely just to be able just to go blah, blah, blah and leather quite quite well, substantially and for quite a lot. Well, half an hour, and I, I'm really starting to blather now properly. And my cup of tea is out of reach. I can't reach it yet, but I'll go and I'll go and drink it now. So, lovely to see you all on the call, and I hope you're well. And I will see you. Yes, I'm. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. I will going to. I'm going to put them in my shop now. So you got. You get the first dibs. You get to sort of keep an eye on it. It'll take me about ten minutes, fifteen minutes to get them put in the shop. And if any of those, you know, those four kind of catch your eye, well, you know where they'll be. Otherwise, I trust that their humans will find them at the perfect time. So lovely to catch up with you too. Thank you, Vicky. I'm really glad that you made it as yourself and not as Darren. Wow, fantastic. I'd love to see Jacqueline and Tab and Lorna and Sally Ann and whoever else I was on the call that I can't actually see at the moment. But thank you all. It's always a pleasure. So I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.